Hey everybody, Mazer here, and welcome to another video review. Actually, this is more of an experimental video. Yes, that's right, Mazer is experimenting today. So I've been playing with my laser pecker for quite some time since our last review, and I've been getting amazing results all across the board with the little wooden medallions I make. But I wanted to see just how far this laser can go. So today, we're going to test it on several different materials. We're going to try uh, this rubber. It was part of a phone case. I'm just going to see if we could make it like a stamp, you know, burn the outlines and leave a nice imprint so that we could put ink on it and go boop, boop, just like that. We have some 3D printed uh, PLA right here. Uh, this was a switch stand that I made, and I just want to see if it could do anything to it. So what we're going to do is get like a dry erase marker. And we're going to rub it all over here and then see if we can etch something into the PLA. This is just wood, and we already know that this could work on wood. But what I want to see is, can it cut through the wood? So we're going to make a simple uh, shape, and we're going to run it through several passes and see how many passes it takes to get through this very thin piece of plywood that I got from Michael's. Now, the website says that it could cut through felt, and I want to see if it will cut through this spare fabric. Isn't that pretty? Look how cute it is. So I want to see if I could come up with a shape and cut it out with the fabric. Next, I want to see if we can get some kind of etching on glass. Now, this will not be able to etch glass. It already says that on the website, but there is an experiment we tried with another laser where you put black nail polish on this use the laser to burn through the nail polish, then use this armor etch on the nail polish to create the etch. Now, if that works, I would be very excited because it means I can get a lot more detailed etchings than I would be through vinyl, which needs to be cut out. So small, fine details doesn't really work with my uh, Cricut. Then we're going to see if I can get an etch on this Chinese knockoff Nintendo GoPro uh, controller. I'm just going to see if I can put a logo right here and see what happens. Okay. Okay, so it's going to try plastic. And finally, off camera here, I got a pair of knackered holy jeans. And I want to see if I can do a design in the denim. I've seen it on TV shows and stuff where they take a laser and they go... And they put a cool little uh, logo or something inside denim. So we're going to try that with this pair of jeans that I no longer can wear because they're just all kinds of shredded on the backside. So we have a well-ventilated area outside set up for everything. And we're going to go through each one step by step. And I'll record everything along the way or at least as best as I can. And uh, hopefully we get some interesting results. Back in a moment. Hey everybody, we are back and we have finished testing the laser pecker on several different materials, so let's see how they turned out. First, on this little bit of plywood that I got from Michaels, I wanted to see if it could cut right through. This is after four passes. It does have a very good indentation here, but it'll take a lot more than four passes to get through this material. Um, it's, it's just not worth it to try to cut through this. It'll just use up more energy than it's worth in the end. But um, it does get pretty deep on the default wood setting for multiple passes. I mean, it's hard to see, but yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good indentation. I know I could cut through this if I just kept going and going and going, but that's just, again, like I said, waste of time and energy. Next, we tried the PLA 3D printed material, the little Nintendo Switch stand that I made. So what we did was we took whiteboard marker, colored this in, and then we use the laser pecker to sketch the Skyrim logo onto the material. So the first thing we did was two turns of the default plastic. 
no real result. It's just barely burned through the ink. So then we tried custom setting at 100% power, 60 depth with three passes. Again, not really much of a result. So then we did 100, 100 for two passes, and there we go. Now it's not burned into it deep, but this ink doesn't come off. It's burned into the material quite nicely. Uh, I did try scrubbing this off with soap and water, and it stayed on. So that would be a successful test, in my opinion. I mean, it doesn't look great with all those little lines from the PLA printing material, but it does work and looks really cool. Next, we tried to do like a fake rubber stamp thing. So I inverted the Splatterhouse logo. And there is some kind of imprint right there. You can see it doesn't show up well on camera. But it is there. It would take several passes, several, several passes for this to work uh, and be like usable for a stamp. But this is just rubber I found around the house. Okay, I think it was part of a credit card case I found. Um, the rubber they use for actual stamps might have a lower burn tolerance. So one day I might actually buy a sheet and see if I can make my own stamp. Uh, next we did the cloth, which they show on their trailer. I did the default cloth setting for two passes using oops, the Mandalorian logo. And it did its job. Cut right through that and left a nice outline. So yeah, cloth, super easy, worked immediately, no big deal. Now the glass is the one I wanted to test the most. Now when we tested my old laser, somebody told me, put nail polish on the glass, have the laser etcher burn off the nail polish to create a stencil. Then use your etching cream on the new nail polish stencil to get a fine result. Well, I chose a Pennywise picture that I found on the internet to see that because it has a lot of small little details, small lines that my vinyl cutter cannot mimic. So, how did it turn out? Well, what I did was I put the glass at 100, 100, and I did three passes with the logo, put on the etching cream, and there's the result. Try to get... It turned out really good, like surprisingly good. I mean, it's not as sharp as a vinyl cut, obviously. Uh, the lines are a little crooked, you know, because the laser goes back and forth, back and forth. But overall, this turned out really, really good. I mean, you can see the lines around the eyes. You can see his teeth. You can see the neck, the hair. I am very impressed with this. This turned out really, really good, and I'm super happy with the result. Just going to have to test it out on different stencils to see which ones look the best. Now, finally, the last material we tried out were jeans. I see all these people online burning jeans. It gets a nice white outline. Uh, my result was very different. I'm trying to fold it up so we can get it on camera here. So this was our first result with the Mandalorian logo. Uh, I just did the default fabric setting. Nothing really too fancy. I did two passes just kind of burned it. So I was like, okay, maybe I had the settings on too high. So I lowered it, and it just burned it less. Okay, so then I tried the wood setting, which is 100% power, 70% depth. It just got, like, it's just darker. That's all it does. There's no nice, crisp white line or anything. Maybe if I wash this, it'll look cooler. But for now, yeah... I mean, it does its job. It makes a mark on jeans that they just look like, you know, terrible rusty stamps. So if that's your look, you can do it. But overall, maybe I'll pass. It could be the brand of jeans. I don't know. What brand are these anyways? Calvin Klein. So there you go. Calvin Klein jeans gives you a dark, burnt look. You don't really see much of the detail either, so that's a shame. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of different materials that I wanted my pecker to be on. And overall, the results were really cool. This doesn't cut through this thin of wood uh, after four passes, but eventually it will get that down there. It's just not feasible. It doesn't make any sense to waste all that time and power. Uh, PLA material, whiteboard marker. Yep, it left a image. Rubber, at least on this one, it does work sort of 
needs a lot of passes. Again, I'll try a rubber that was designed for laser etching and see if there's a result. Cloth, flawless. Glass, surprisingly really good. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me today on another exploration of my pecker, and I'll see you next time. Bye.